that must happen to you. And that's why you must change the way you look at things. Let me summarize by telling us that the ultimate solution that will come to a problem, what will bring ultimate solution to whatever problem a man is passing through in life is when the way he look at those things changes. The story of the 12 spies, I will not go into that because of time. When they went to spy the land, and the 10 people came and started telling Israel that they are unable to go and apprehend the land of promise. But the Bible said that two people stand out. And what is it that caused them to stand out the way they look at it? They have a different kind of mindset. 2021 that we are entering it is a season to function with a different kind of mindset. And when I'm talking about a different kind of mindset, I, I know that there is only one kind of mind that we should function with. And that mind is a transformed mind. And is a mind that is Christ's kind of mind. It is a mind that is like God's mind. So the looking that I'm talking about in this context is not just is not a physical looking. It's a mental looking. It's a spiritual looking. It's an ideological looking. I'm talking about intellectual looking. <laughs> this teaching, because of time, I, I don't want to go into different eyes. Because it's one of the things that God was opening my eyes to know. There, there, there are things that I'm understanding through this revelation, through this teaching. God helped me to understand that there are different eyes. And it is the kind of eyes that people use to look at this that will determine the kind of interpretation they will give to it. Now, a lot of people have not yet known themselves because of the kind of eyes they are using to look at themselves, to interpret themselves. So each time you hear about eyes, I'm talking about interpretation. I'm talking about giving accurate interpretation to things. Interpreting accurately. That's, uh, uh, of course, physically from those, from what uh, the, the doctors or those that study human beings say is, before your eyes will behold an object, a light, all the things that you are seeing will come to your pupil, the pupil of the eye, as a light. And then that light, before you can see whether it is, is a cup or whatsoever object it will be, your eyes, that light will come to the pupil, and if the pupil do interpret it, or whatsoever the pupil interpret it to be, is what you can call it. I'm summarizing by telling us that it's where a man positioned to look that will control what he sees. Where you position to look will control what you see. And in 2021, that this is a virtual service, I'm rounding up 2020. The totality of what God wants to give us as a ministry in 2021 requires proper positioning. And if I'm talking about proper positioning, where are we to position? Where you are to position is on the heel of enlightenment. The heel of God. The heel of God's revelation. Now, when you, I, I'm talking about heel. I'm talking about revelation. I'm talking about secrets. I, I'm talking about things that we should devote time to seek out. From ourselves and from God. Somebody, are you hearing me? Uh, uh, there, there are things that we should devote time. 2021 is a time that uh, all of us that are part of this commission must cultivate an attitude of self fellowship. 
And that's why uh, all along, since the 40 days started, I'm thinking. And what I'm thinking, I'm thinking because there are things I know I'm going to resign from. Things that are not allowing me to look at myself very well. Because I know, I know very well all the future that, that people are dreaming of. They can only apprehend that future if they only have the ability to see it. There is no future. There is no future if you are not seeing it. So the only future you can talk about is the one you dream. <laughs> and in 2021, God will help us. He will bring us to the hill of revelation. Where we can be able to assess all the secrets. We are in a time where God, man God wants to God wants to empty himself. If you go to the book of Revelation chapter 10, from verse 7, the Bible said that before the end, that's why many, many people begin to cajole themselves about the end of the world. I will smile because what they are trying to talk about, they are not given to talk about it. The end of the world, there are people that are born because of it. Bible said in that place that I quoted, that before the, everything was summarized, that's the end of the world, that the mystery that makes God, God, must be unveiled. That's why I told you earlier on when I started, I said all the people that said that they have known God have not. Go after now, go to Revelation, where I quoted 10, verse 7. Bible said that, the, that God, will, that mystery will do what? Will finish. In other words, God will no longer be a mystery to men. Somebody, can you clap hand for hearing that? God, God will no longer be a mystery. Because at this time, that, or even now that I'm talking, the God that I'm discussing about is still a mystery. We don't know him yet. All we are trying to do is to still look. All that is happening in this time is that we are still looking. And that's why the scripture said that when we shall see him, we'll be like him. So it is a time that we have entered in the account of life. And as a ministry, that's one of the things that made us relevant. So with Jesus' joy, I'm on to unveil was what 2021 is. And after that, we'll just pray and partake of the bread and the service is over. And um, I want to announce to us that after now, New angels will start serving us. Amen. Now, let me tell us this. 2021 is our year of ever-increasing brightness. Somebody, can you pull your hands together for God? 2021 is our year of ever-increasing brightness brightness. And I'm here to tell us that the support that will be coming to us is the support that is coming from all the bright spirits. All that are bright beings. There are beings that are bright. And I want, to, I want to announce to you that is hearing me that by the reason of what you are hearing tonight, you are going to have, you are going to, from now, start having different encounters. Amen. Yeah, yeah, 2021 is, is a year that we as a people, we are going to have different kind of encounter. There is a reason why I, I, I wear this color to come to teach. Is a follower I saw from the eyes of spirit. 
Why that color is attached to the world of unique relevance? I saw it from the world of spirit. And I, 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 I'm saying this because when I was preparing for this message, God told me I'm not just going to teach that I'm, that I'm going to open up my eyes to know some certain things. You know, there are some things that uh, people will just see it and they will not know that there are things that are behind it. And uh, the speaker for 2021 is carrying that background of that logo and this, this, uh, this color. It's the color of the encounter. This color is, a, is an encounter color. And I, I know it very well. I know the mystery behind this color. And I'm announcing it. So 2021 is our year of ever increasing brightness. And I'm decreeing that all the treasures of darkness will answer to us in 2021. This speaker has been prayed for. And that's why I have specific instruction God gave me. I'm, uh, is, I'm not going to share this speaker this year like the one of last year. Because there, there are a lot that has to do with it. Spirits don't play with their properties. God gave me an insight. He, he told me, he said, if a rope can preserve a woman, we know the story of Reha, Rehoboa, the harlot in, in, in Jericho. <laughs> what saved Reha, Rehoboa and the, the entire family was just a rope? And I want to announce to us, that this, a lot of people may be seeing it as a logo. It's not an ordinary logo. It's a, it's a property of a spirit. Because I, I understand the season that life has entered into. And that's why I'm not playing with, with logo, with symbol. It's a, it's a secret. Rainbow didn't just appear after the destruction of the first war. And of course, even up to now, each time rainbow appears, it will awake a consciousness in men. So anywhere this, this sticker will be gone, and anywhere you will see this sticker, I want something to be registered in your mind. That there is a spirit that is attached to it, and that spirit is always present wherever this logo is. And the spirit that I'm talking about is a guardian spirit of preservation. The guardian is an immortal spirit. It's the spirit that the destiny of this millennium is tied to. The spirit that both the dead and the living are connected to. So this, this speaker that you are seeing, both those that are lying in the grave and those that are living have connection to it. And uh, the angel of death he is also aware of this speaker. And the angel knows that wherever this speaker is, that he is not allowed to function there. So with the testimony of the blood of Jesus and his broken body, I declare that 2021 is subdued and conquered. And all the blessings and the treasures that follow 2021 will answer us as a ministry and as a family, as a known people that have a known destiny and mandate and that have relationship with a known spirit. So from this day henceforth, I empower the angel of this mandate, the angel behind this commission, to give us help, to support us, and to prosper us. In the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Spirit. Can we go ahead and be